Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Thanks for searching me up, or if you just stumbled across, thanks for clicking that link. Today, we have a, another job that we're doing for powder coating, and it is an old cast iron lawn chair set. That's just the chair, obviously. I got the table and another chair we're doing. So, we're gonna get to work on these. Watch that intro and uh, stick around. See how we look. Make them look. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. So, like you just saw, today we're doing some cast iron chairs and a uh, table. As you can see, it has what looks like a nice blueberry inlay. I'm not quite sure. It's all full cast iron. There's some more inlays there. What we're going to be doing is to make make sure I can get everything. We'll be taking it all apart here shortly. You can see somebody's done some welding there at some point. But we're going to take the legs off. Take the back off uh, and see if we can't make it look like it's supposed to again make it look like it's brand new you want to see the color we're doing it i guess you're gonna have to stick around so i'm gonna get taking this apart see how it comes apart hopefully we don't break any bolts and uh and then we'll start getting sandblasted cleaned up primed and coated so stick around i'll be right back all right so we're back we got this chair taken apart. Came apart a whole lot easier than I was expecting. I was actually quite impressed. I thought they were all going to be uh, threaded bolts just like that, but really, they were just little studs. And they came out quite easy. So, that was that made me happy. Something this old, you just never know if it's going to be coming out in one piece or who knows what but like I said this one came apart nice the reason I'm taking it completely apart like this is so I can get along here and where it mounts on on the other piece as well that way I can have full coverage get rid of all the rust and give a, a much better finished product that's not going to fail or look ugly within a week or two so now we got to go get this all sandblasted and then we've got one more chair we're going to take apart i'm doing them separate because i don't really know if these are all if they're meant for one chair fit to it or if it's going to be able to be just interchange the pieces so i want to keep everything intact with the original piece and everything should go back together and look like it did the day well it'll never look like the day it did before because it's going to be powder coated so enough of this rambling i'm going to go do some sandblasting and uh stick around be right back hey everyone thanks for sticking around on this one we're still working on these uh cast iron lawn furniture pieces uh i have a quite the color combination I'm going to do like I said before it's just the white and the black or sorry white and blue and uh, as you can see we've already done the pre treatment I've outgassed them I've got them sprayed with uh, some zinc primer because they are cast iron and we all know how well that stuff will rust in a heartbeat especially after you sandblast it you look at it wrong and it's going to start rusting on you so we did a pre-treatment, then put it in the oven, outgassed it, sprayed it with some zinc primer. So now, we're going to spray down some blue. Which is where we're going to start with our color. Get some blue sprayed, and then we're going to turn around and uh, spray the white. Get rid of some white, and uh, show you the color scheme that I have in store for it. I think it's going to look real good. Let me know what you think as we go. And uh, till then, sit back, 
and enjoy watching me spray some powder. There, and just like that, nice and quick, everything is now nice blue, as you can see. And means now I start spraying, start heating them up again. Gonna go get myself washed up a little bit. Cause I'm sure I got blue all over me, as you can see. And uh, from there, we're gonna spray some white and uh, do some masking and wiping and uh, get this job done. Like I said, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you think I look good with blue. I don't think I do, but otherwise, go hit that subscribe button and we'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey, as you can probably hear, I'm a little under the weather today, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to get stuff done. Start making some more videos for you. Well, here we are. As you saw, we sprayed the blue on these cast iron pieces. The salon furniture. The blue. We did a partial cure on it, so now we're going to get some white sprayed and then we're going to start masking off, wiping down, cleaning off the spots that are not going to be white and uh, see if we can't make these look half decent. So stick around, I'm going to spray some white and uh, get back to work. All right, so you just saw me spraying the white. There's some spots that, like you can see right there, I didn't go heavy because this could be one of the spots going blue. So now we're gonna get the vacuum out, start wiping stuff down, and uh, start showing the final result of what we're doing with the chairs. And then we'll take you out, sandblast up the table, and show you what we're gonna do with that. So stick around. I'm gonna make it look like I'm actually working hard and uh, enjoy the show. Alright everyone, thanks for sticking around. Uh, as you can tell, I'm still working on that uh, these uh, cast iron lawn furniture pieces. Uh, you're going to see a bit of a, a skip in the steps. I noticed that some of my videos on the memory card didn't work. It said not playable, not usable. So that's why the, the skip from what you just saw to, to now. So here we are getting ready to do the tabletop. We got it all sandblasted, getting ready to put some primer to it after I heat it up and outgas it a little bit. I we never know what's inside of that old metal. Got a whole bunch of bolts there ready to go. So I'm gonna get heat going on that. We'll get it primed up. We'll get some uh, blue sprayed onto it. Then uh, finish off with the white and go from there. So. Stick around, we'll be right back, and hopefully these videos don't fail on me either. All right, so we have sprayed this tabletop blue. That's not gonna be all blue. You're gonna have to stick around just to see, see what I do with it. There's all the hardware. Wasn't worried about the thread just because of the way this thing bolts together. A little added powder on there will probably help out the threads a little bit anyway, so. But if you want to see what this table is going to look like, stick around. You'll see. Show you what it does, show you what it's going to look like. I can show you a little teaser. We have this, which is one of the legs off of the, the chairs that was done. I've got them all set, ready to go back together. I got the legs for the table done. So stick around, we'll be right back. I'll spray some white on there, show you how we do that, and uh, then we'll show you how we put everything back together and show you what we got. Give it back to the customer and 
they should be quite happy with it. So stick around, we'll be right back, ready to spray some white. Right, thanks for sticking around. I just finished spraying up the blue and the white. So now, we've got some vacuuming to do. Get rid of a whole lot of white there to show the blue that's gonna be uh, underneath and make this look real good. So, in the meantime, while I do that, <clears throat> as I lose my voice, I drop down, hit that subscribe button. Click like, drop a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, by staying subscribed, you get to see all the new videos I post. I do have some more stuff coming. I've got more stuff on my RX-7 that I'm almost ready to start posting. Uh, I've also got some that I'm going to do on my, my Jeep Gladiator. But in the meantime, we're going to focus on this and uh, see if we can't get this going. So sit back and enjoy. So you just saw me doing some of the vacuum work on this. You kind of get the idea where I'm going with it. I'm not going to sit here and bore you to death watching me finish wiping that down. It's probably going to still be quite a while. A lot of intricate detail work there to do. So I'm going to go get that done. We'll get some heat on this and we'll show you the final product. So stick around. Hey everybody, how you doing? Thanks for sticking around. As promised, I've got some uh, lawn furniture here, all done, powder coated, ready to go back to the customer. Before I do that, I'm gonna give you a second. Go hit that like button, hit subscribe, help me grow this channel some more, and uh, I'll just wait a second. That way you don't miss anything. Just looking at me. All right, now that you've gone and hit that subscribe button, right? Now I'll show you what we've got done. If you remember what it looked like, it was just bare wrought iron, or cast iron, sorry. And uh, had a nice layer of rust on it. Nothing major, but it really needed a lot of work. So we sandblasted it, primed it with some zinc primer, outgassed it. Put down some white, put down some blue, did some wiping, vacuuming off some powder, and Ultimately, in the end, this is what we have. You can see the chair. We got the inlays done on the on the legs and on the back. The table, which you saw me doing earlier, we did up all the inlays there. The legs, we got them done. You might see that zip tie, and that's only because the one of the legs has a broken eye for the bolt on it so it's just there so that way as I'm moving it around I'm not uh, putting any extra stress on a joint or it gets hooked and breaks because I really don't want to have to try and replace this because I don't think I could so I put the zip tie there to keep everything tight and uh, no damage so there's the other chair Again, you can see all the inlays are done blue. The back of the chair, the bottom of the table and stuff, it's all white. Just like that. So what you see, we have the blue with the white accent. I think it came out quite nice. Let me know what you think. I'm going to see about put what I can do for posting up a few pictures of what it looked like before I started. I hope I can uh, save a video file because if I can it does show what it looked like before I started but as I said a little while ago I've lost a few video clips on this so here's hoping but uh, so till next time I do have more as some of you may have seen I, was, I got an RX-7 project on the go we have the rims they're going in the oven tonight. They're going to get powder coated. 
so that way I can get these rims put back together because they are a three piece design. We got the center section here, which I've already done once. It's staying that color. And then you got the two out, the outer lip and the barrel. Get them coated, get all the bolts done, and uh, get back working on that. So we have a lot more coming. I even have a stereo coming next week that's going to have a, a Ground Zero sub install and uh, a DB drive amp. So it's going into a Dodge Dart. So you can expect to see that coming up and uh, see what else I can get for you. I'll always have something on the go here, so you stick around, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, keep it loud and stay warm.